Our top story tonight, the first day of the Republican National Convention in Cleveland, Ohio, and just a few hours in protests and chaos inside the Quicken's Loans Arena over the rules that will govern this convention. Just a few hours into this four day event, anti Trump delegates asked for a state by state roll call vote after collecting signatures on petitions calling for this vote. They had support from a majority of the delegates in nine states, which is two more than needed. But Representative Steve Womack, who was chairing the proceedings, told the crowd that delegates from three states withdrew their signatures. He then declared that that effort had fallen short, setting off uproar, as you could hear here among those delegates who started chanting and protesting inside the arena. And now it appears the crowd has calmed down a bit and the event is moving forward. And there is a lot of stake at this GOP convention. Over the next four days, the convention will host approximately 2,470 delegates and 2,302 alternate delegates from all 50 states. Each night will center on a different theme. The theme for today is Make America Safe Again. More than 25 people are giving speeches on the Republican Party's plan to protect our country, including two Marine Corps veterans and former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani. But of course, the focus is Donald Trump. Paul Manafort, Trump's campaign manager says the goal of the convention is to reintroduce the presumptive nominee to the mayor, the American public. Since Mr. Trump has been not active in the political arena prior to his becoming a candidate about a year ago, that uh, the the biography of the man, while is known from a, from a topical standpoint, really is not very uh, well known when you get into the the components of his personnel of his of his bio. Trump's wife, Melania, will be the first of several members of the candidate's family who will speak at the convention to paint a picture of Trump's character beyond what America saw during the primaries. House Speaker Paul Ryan has been officially elected chairman of the RNC. The Wisconsin lawmaker was elected on a quick voice vote with no opposition. ABC 7's Alan Cohn is in Cleveland. He spoke with the ABC News political contributor and has more on what we can expect in primetime tonight. Donald Trump's convention is underway, and the day began with Florida delegates hearing from the Trump campaign about how it intends to build a ground game to win Florida. This is an unconventional convention. Not present are former Republican presidents and former Republican nominees for president, but there are a lot of Trumps here and a lot of reality TV stars. And ABC News's political director says the Trump campaign is well aware of everything taking place outside this convention hall. This is among the more chaotic settings that I've ever covered. Starting with inside, the, the program is coming together very late. It's an unconventional program, a lot of reality stars and a lot of Trumps as part of it. And then the condition outside. Uh, there's no question that world events, including the killings of, of police officers in Dallas and Baton Rouge, it has people on edge, it has people tense, and the real world is intruding right here inside the arena. And coming up at 6, we'll hear from Donald Trump's chief strategist in Florida, I'm Alan Cohn in Cleveland at the Republican National Convention for ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Alan. Donald Trump will introduce his wife on stage after Melania's speech. The couple will fly back to New York and will return to Cleveland on Thursday when Trump is scheduled to deliver his acceptance speech. Leading up to that speech, a colorful mix of political leaders and entertainers. All four of Trump's grown children will have primetime slots. There will also be some speeches from survivors of the 2012 attack on the U.S. Congress. Consulate in Benghazi, an astronaut, sports stars, actors, and congressional leaders. A handful of senators and governors will get a turn, including Governor Rick Scott and Florida Attorney General Pam Bondi. One person not on the list, Suncoast Congressman Verm Buchanan. His representative says Buchanan is not attending to spend more time with his family. And we will continue to bring you these live updates from the RNC convention tonight and all week long. ABC 7's Ray Collins and Alan Cohn will be there through Thursday, so be sure to stay tuned to ABC 7 for the latest, as well as our website, mysuncoast.com, and our social media pages.